the hot water enters each power generation unit. In this binary system, the well water does not come in contact with the turbine, but rather its heat is transferred to a secondary working fluid as it passes through the coils in the heat exchange tank. Because the working fluid has a boiling point much lower than water, the fluid flashes to vapor quickly and moves upward passing through the turbine. Pressure from the vapor spins the turbines, which in turn spins the electric generator. Each unit can generate about 280 kilowatts of power. After leaving the turbine, the vapor moves upward into the condenser tank. Here, cooling water enters the condenser from the cooling towers and circulates through coils in the condenser tank and cools the vapor, allowing it to condense back into a fluid The working fluid now flows down the tank outlet to the pump, where it is repressurized and injected back into the heat exchange tank to repeat the process. It is important to note that the three fluid systems of hot well water, cooling water from the cooling tower, and system working fluid remain in their own separate loops and never mix, so there is no contamination and no emissions. Many of the parts used to construct pure cycle units are off-the-shelf parts from HVAC systems manufactured by Pratt & Whitney's sister division, Carrier. Although a new application, pure cycle units are based on very stable technology used for many years in many parts of the world. Generating power from pure cycle power systems is not just a concept, but has been successfully deployed at many sites around the globe including China Hot Springs in Alaska, where two systems deliver about 400 kilowatt of net power. 200 kW, this is enough electricity to run 200 homes. Today, Carl has three geothermal power generators on his property. Together, the units provide enough electricity to power and feed the entire resort year-round.